Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this time it is going to be yet another World Chalice combo tutorial. Uh, I know this deck's kind of old, but to me, it's a lot of fun, and there's a lot of, like, sort of new information that I can go over, especially considering that I didn't have the common courtesy of being able to play with this card, nor did I get the ability to play with it at 3 the last time that I was playing World Chalice. So, what this video is going to be is this video is going to be showing you one of the more fun World Chalice combos that you can perform currently utilizing the just plethora of superior extenders the deck has access to now uh and this combo is going to be a two card combo of venus plus pot of avarice pot of avarice i keep referring to it and exodius as superior extenders what do i mean by that i mean that they are exactly that they are extenders that are superior to other extenders like i don't even consider lee and world legacy world chalice since they're effectively tied to each other they're effectively the same card I don't even consider those cards superior extenders in this deck, and those cards are directly searchable by the deck just naturally playing through Eva. So, like, you naturally funnel into those cards, and those cards are insanely powerful, and I still don't even consider those superior extenders. These cards, like Exodius and Avarice, are ridiculously good extenders for this deck because they give you so much gas. Uh, they reset all your shine balls when you're interacting with Venus. Exodius summons itself as a monster. Pot of Avarice doesn't summon itself as a monster, but it gives you two draws. Um, they reset different uh, like capabilities of like plays, going down the road, all that sort of stuff. So this is a combo I've never covered, Venus plus Pot of Avarice, because again, like I said, I never got to play with this card the last time I was playing World Chalice. Pot of Avarice went from 0 to 3 in the time since the last time I played World Chalice. I had Soul Charge, but Soul Charge was never as good as this card. Okay, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but... It was never as good as this card at 3, and Exodius, because Exodius and Soul Charge conflict with one another. Exodius and this, they play into one another, handily. But this combo is hilarious, uh, it's one of the more fun combos uh, in my mind, so I'm going to show it to you. Uh, it draws... <laughs> it draws 6 cards, you end up with 9 cards in hand, and then you could just make an Exod uh, like a Saryuja and draw 4 more. Uh, you, you get really deep with this one. This combo is going to be obviously very open-ended because there's literally no way I can tell for you to account and plan for specific interactions of what you're going to see in nine cards in hand with everything on board. So, like, I'm just, I'm not going to be able to do that for you. So, you start with a five card hand, Venus and Avarice. I'm just doing this for effect. Uh, anyway, so combo goes as follows. Normal summon Venus in the far left main monster zone and pay 1500 for three shine balls now what we want to do is we want to get Aver uh, avarice live very quickly while also not interacting like with uh, moving the venus around so what we're going to do is we're going to link one shine ball into link spider we're going to link another shine ball into imduk and then we're going to link a shine ball and the link spider into ib the world chalice priestess and then we're going to link the imduk and the ib into Orem because they are two World Chalice names. So the whole purpose of doing that, very similarly to like the Exodius playlines, the old Exodius playlines, uh, you want to just, even though it's like kind of poorly managing your resources to turn three monsters into something that's a, a link to effectively, this card is very powerful for what it is because it has a monster reborn effect, uh, and the fact that you're going to reset these cards like doesn't matter. Uh, you're you're going to be getting another like plus three resources off the shine balls coming back out whether it's exodius or avarice so taking the raw minus one to go into orum and like set that up early to make that card live uh is is really good uh but so from here you're going to activate the pot of avarice and we're going to draw our first two cards we're going to put back Imduk, ib and the three shine balls the link spider will stay in our graveyard all right so put those back in the extra deck these go back into the deck and you draw two cards so we're up to five cards in hand again, and now it's just all gas. It's well, all gas to begin with, but now it's definitely all gas. So we're going to use Venus for three shine balls again, and now this is where we're going to start going down some, some wacky roots, right? We're going to link the Venus and a shine ball into Union uh, Carrier in this zone, pointing this way, and then you're going to use Union Carrier to target one of these shine balls i don't think it matters which one you target i could be wrong i haven't put too much thought into that but just target one of them 
and equip Eva to one of them. And then you're going to link that away into Imduk in this Aurum zone. So, now the Eva is going to trigger, and we're going to use the Eva to banish just one Shine Ball, and use that to add Lee the World Chalice Fairy to hand. Then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to get our Venus back, because we want Venus back. <laughs> we want it. We want to summon more Shine Balls. So we're going to use Aurum to pop the Imduk that is in its zone, and we're going to summon the Venus back. And then the Imduk's Grave Effect is going to trigger, specialing Lee from our hand, and then the Lee will use its effect to add World Legacy World Chalice. So now from here, we need to make Imduk again. <laughs> like we, we, we just gotta, we gotta make it again. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, link this into Imduk, this Shine Ball into Imduk, and then we get an additional Normal Summon. So we're going to additional Normal Summon, tributing the Union Carrier to Normal Summon World Legacy World Chalice. So now we need to start setting up uh, more resources. We need to start setting up our Nangirsu draw three arrows while keeping Venus, meaning that Aurum needs to not be where it is, uh, and we need to basically just uh, start abusing Shine Balls a, a bit more. I've only paid 3,000 life for six Shine Balls this turn. I need more, right? So we're going to get more. Uh, we're going to link Lee and World Legacy World Chalice away into Eeb right here. And World Legacy World Chalice will trigger, and we will use it to summon two copies of Beckoned from the deck. Then from here, you're going to overlay Beckoned and Beckoned into Digesto Emerald. And then we're going to use Digesto Emerald, detaching a Beckoned to put back two Shine Balls, because one is banished off Eva, and Imduk. We're going to put back an Imduk again. So we've shuffled back two Imduks this turn. Uh, one off Avarice and uh, one off of uh, of that. Imduk is like the most like important one that you want to make sure you have tons of. But so Emerald draws a card. So you've drawn three cards at this point. You've already resolved an Ingirsu, and we haven't resolved an Ingirsu yet. So we're at six cards in hand, and it is only going to get more. We're only going to have more. <laughs> but so, from here, what we're going to do is we need to start setting things up into the this side of the board. Aurum being here means that we can't make Ningirsu here and keep Venus and still draw three cards. We want to keep Venus because we want to draw into more Pot of Avarices, into Exodiuses, um, all that sort of stuff. Because we're drawing a lot of cards, we might as well try to go for it, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to use Lee's effect to send Aurum from the EMZ to the grave to add Lee back to hand. And then we're going to use Venus to pay 500 again, so we paid 3,500 total to summon our seventh Shine Ball from the deck. And then we're going to link this Shine Ball away into Imduk in our right EMZ. And then we're going to activate Venus again to get the eighth Shine Ball out of our deck, so we paid 4,000 total. And then we're going to link the Shine Ball and the Digesto Emerald away into just a generic link to. Again, the Nightmare Cerberus that I haven't needed since the 200th YCS makes an appearance. I literally haven't played this card in deck since the 200th YCS. <laughs> this card is so bad. <laughs> but so, from here, should be pretty clear. We've got this Eeb and this Imduk here. And we've got these. So we're going to link these into our Link 3 Ningirsu. Chain Link 1 Ningirsu. Chain Link 2, the Imduk that's in our grave that we linked away. To special summon the Lee. And then we get to draw three cards. So, this is your hand. <laughs> These, this is your whole hand. These are the three cards you started with. These are the six you drew. You have nine in hand at this point. And you're living large. You're literally just out here wondering what you're going to do next. You could go into an Opelousa here. You could go with these four. You could go into a Saryuja, draw four more. Put yourself at 13 cards and then put three back. You have two Shine Balls still in circulation. You still have 4,000 life yet left, so you can summon Shine Ball seven more times. Um, you could draw into Exodiuses. We haven't used World Chalice Guard Dragon in this combo, so that's a good extender. Uh, we have cards like World Legacy Heart, Pot of Avarice, Exodius, other World Chalice names like More Lees and More World Legacy World Chalices. Uh, you have so many cards that you could literally just have in your hand. Shade Brigandine. To just keep going. You have so many cards at your disposal that you should definitely be able to, like, keep going. 
And that's where this becomes open-ended. Just do whatever you want with this from this point onward. But Venus plus Avarice gives you six cards. One, two, three, four, five. So you get 11 cards out of two. That's a plus nine. <laughs> you draw six and summon five. That's that's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. And it's such a weird roundabout way to get to it as well, of using Aurum to pop and bring back the Venus because you need to keep the two Vanillas on the board to make the right number of M Ducks. Uh, getting rid of the Aurum in the way that lets you move over to the other EMZ with a card that doesn't give you a Link Zone to summon into. Um, all that sort of stuff. Like, this entire combo is nonsense. Like, but I love it. And you just, you draw into just a bunch of stuff. Uh, your hand should be very well structured. You draw into Water Pond slash Lily Bell and it summons itself. Um, the, all of these, like, World Chalice names, when you link away with them, summon World Chalices from your hand. So they're all, like, fantastic extenders. Um, so, like, drawing into those cards is fine. World Legacy Heart is a great extender. Uh, Exodius is good. Shade Brigandine is good. Basically, like, if you get to Exodius as well, like, it's nuts. Exodius or Avarice, because you get to put back the Emerald. And putting back the Emerald and then setting up something with Shade Brigandine or summoning two fours again, like with World Child's Guard Dragon, bringing back back end and getting access to, like, another back end uh, by drawing it uh, and summoning it off one of these or summoning off Saryuja or whatever, allows you to make Digesto Emerald again. Shuffle back, draw more. So, like, you still keep drawing in this combo. You make Saryuja, you have duplicate copies of Avarice, you have uh, Digesto Emerald that you can put back off Exodius or Avarice and summon again. Uh, basically, there should be no reason for you to not use all of these cards to make like four material Opelousa, have Kyoto water for only Gamma Seal if you're playing those cards. Um, if you're playing hand traps or whatever, you should have a hand loaded full of hand traps. Uh, you should be at 500 life because you definitely should have just summoned 15 shine balls over the course of the entire turn. Uh, there's just, it just keeps going. There's, there's literally no stopping it. Um, like in terms of like, if the resources are allowed to keep flowing. Now, obviously like hand trap stop, like that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you have so many generated cards. If you get to this point, then you're going to be limited by what you can physically play in your extra deck and deck as far as what your ending board can be. It's not a limitation of what your deck is capable of putting on the board. It's the limitation of Konami only says I can play this many more extra deck cards outside of what I've already played, right? So that's what I wanted to show you. This is a combo that I'm actually like, I, I love, I love. This is like probably one of my, this, this might be my favorite World Chalice combo, my favorite Venus combo iteration, because it is just, it moves around in such a wacky way, such a non-fluid formed way. It moves around in such a way differently from how the other combos, like even Venus Exodius, like it, it functions differently from even that one. And that's like the most similar to this one. But anyway, that's all I wanted to do for this video. Uh, I'm doing a lot of World Chalice combos. Maybe I'll move on to a newer deck, like maybe something coming out of Genesis uh, Impact uh, or something. Who knows? I'm just trying to buy my time until the new Dragoonity support cards are closer on the horizon. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, if there's anything you'd like to see uh, or talk about or whatever, definitely let me know in the comments down below or even join my Discord and mention it there. Other than that, I think as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as per usual. Uh, subscribe if you're new here and all that sort of jazz. I'd love to have you around. But other than that, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a wonderful day. Love to see you around again.